Hello, hello. This is Forrest in Sevierville, Tennessee. We have a uh, little mini house that uh, we've picked up here at Docks and Decks. It's got solar. It's got a little tankless water heater. Has a compost toilet. Uh, we're going to replace the compost toilet with a regular either toilet or probably some sort of mobile home toilet. Something with a tank under it. This is kind of cool, but we don't think it's what we want in here. Has a little like storage tank. You put coconut husk or something, a little pea bucket in front. I don't know, it's interesting, but I don't think we want it inside. Tiny little sink here. Uh, the windows are too pane. There's a lot of stain in the middle. I don't know what we can do to get that out of there. We might try something. But mostly we're just cleaning up the dirt. There's a bit of an ant infestation right now going on. Like they're, they're inside of this wall. There's a ton of them on the outside over here. A bunch of big red fire ants with the black ends. I think they're called uh, imported fire ants. But this has two lofts. Whoever had it must have had a dog. There was a ton of hair in between all of this. But I'm pulling up things. A little bit of extra storage down there on the back, as you can see. Uh, they had cable. Think about putting a little uh, compact uh, hot and cold system in here. Give it a little AC or something. Some kind of small unit. Uh, another loft over there. It's in good shape overall. But we're going to do some restoration. As you can see, the worst part is going to be this floor. All the subfloor is, is uh, pretty squishy, especially right here. It's actually sunken in. A little bit of a problem right here. It's all coming up. Uh, the door was leaking as we were pressure washing around it. So we're going to have to replace the seal on the door. We might have to replace some windows, but do a little paint and a little cleaning. Has a little refrigerator, uh, wash and dryer set up. around the other side here has a hookup for a hose right there uh, come around to the, the battery side of this we've got it on four little stilts right now to keep it flat because it will rock a little bit without the stilts uh, so here's the solar setup I think there's four panels on top of this 3,000 watt uh, power inverter pure sine wave I've seen a book inside about it here's a little controller solar charge controller uh, I believe these are just hooked straight to the battery right here there's four 12 watt kilowatt uh, or 12 volt batteries in here so this can only handle 48 Sorry. volts you're all right uh, just trying to clean it up oh there's the solar panel couldn't see them they're on this side just so there should be four of them up there. One, two, looks like four panels. Not even sure about the size, but it just rolled in. Uh, and they have it so you can shut the panels down right here. These guys, the whole place is infested with these guys. Anyways, you pull out this, turn it off, and then you can just hook it up like that to a, to a regular extension cord to get some power going to it. But I'll probably do another video afterwards on what it looks like. Alright, thank you.